You can save and load the navigation stack path using Codable in one of two ways, depending on what kind of path you're working with. First option I have here, if you have navigation path to store your data, then SwiftUI provides two helpers to make loading and saving your paths easier. Alternatively, if you have a homogeneous array, i.e. array of integers or an array of strings or similar, you don't need those helpers, you just load and save your data freely. The two techniques are very, very similar, so I'm gonna cover them both here. Both rely on storing your path data outside your view somewhere, so all the loading and saving of path data happens invisibly. An external class just takes care of it all for you. To be more precise, what it means is, every time a path data changes somehow, whether it's an array of integers or a navigation path thing here, we've got to store, oh, sorry, save that new path automatically so it's preserved for the future. We'll also load the data back in again when the class is being initialized. So we'll start with the easy option first, an array of integers. I make a new class up here, which is called path store. And this thing needs to be observed by SwiftUI, so I'll use at observable before it to enable an observable macro. After this thing has a path inside, which is an array of integers. And when that's changed, we'll call a save method, we'll write shortly. We'll also make a path to write things out to. So I'll say private let save path is our URL, documents directory, appending the path of saved path. And now we have an initializer. This thing has the job of loading the data back out from disk and putting it into the path array. So I'll say inside here, if let data is try question mark our data content of that save path, that we can load it from disk. Then if let decoded is try question mark JSON decoder dot decode an array of int dot self from the data. So we've found the file and now loaded the file and now decoded the file, great our path will be that decoded array there. And we'll exit immediately. And exit is important because if we couldn't decode it, or we couldn't load the file, then we get to this point. If we're still here, we'll start with an empty path like that. We'll also write the save method. It's called whenever this dead set triggered here. We'll say there's a method called save. In a do block, we'll do let data be try JSON encoder or encode our path data and try writing that data out to our save path. And of course, catch the errors too. I'll do catch print failed to save navigation data. So that's the version using an interray here. Now, if you're using a navigation path instead, you need only a handful of small changes. First, your path property up here should be a navigation path rather than interray. So I'll say here, you are a navigation path. Second, when we decode our data right here, we want to decode this thing, use a particular type, a codable representation of our navigation path. So not interray here. We want to decode a navigation path dot codable representation. And that'll give you an object here which can be used to create a navigation path. So I'll say make a navigation path out of that decoded data. If that fails, uh, we've got to this point here, that make an empty array, make an empty navigation path. And finally, this save method down here, this thing has to write the codable representation of our navigation path. And this is where things get a little bit more tricky than using a simple array. Because by default, navigation path does not require anything other than conforming to hashable. We can put non-codable objects in here just fine. As a result, Swift can't verify at compile time that is actually a valid codable representation of a navigation path. So we've got to request it and see what comes back. This means adding a little check at the start of the save method here. We're going to attempt to retrieve the codable navigation path and out of our data, but bail out immediately if we get nothing back. 
we'll say guard let representation equals our path dot codable. Otherwise, bailout. And that's going to return either the path data ready to be encoded to JSON or return nil if at least one object in the path does not conform to codable. And finally, we can convert that codable representation to JSON instead of the original int array here. So I'll do encode that representation. Boom. And now, depending on which one you've chosen here, you can go ahead and write a Swift UI code as normal. Make sure you bind to the path value of a path store object here to get the loading and saving happening for you. For example, we can write some code to show uh, new views randomly like you have here. This thing shows a detailed view with number zero, and when it's pressed, it creates a new random number and navigates to that again and again and again, so you can launch it with a very, very deep uh, navigation path if you want to. Um, we don't want to store the path locally here, though. We want to make a new path store here, like this, and bind to that. Our path should be dollar path uh, store dot path like that. And now I press Command R to build and run it. I can go to random number. So we're one three eight ninety eighty four two. And I go to the home screen. You know, puts around for a while and then relaunch the app. And shoot back to two, then 84, then 90, then 138. So it's remembered the entire stack for us automatically and brought us back there when we relaunched the app.